good morning, afternoon-ish time of day on Friday. Oh, good, there it is. So, let me just do my little pins. Sorry, one second, I'm having a couple technical difficulties on the side here. Welcome, welcome. Oh, oh there we go, okay. Sorry about that, hi guys. Um, I like to, you know, add the post topic and then add an announcement to make it easier to find. And I think I said before, Facebook is gonna do an update and I tested the update, I didn't really like it. So I went back to the old version and now they are, they're gonna update. So it is what it is, but it takes me a little bit to find. Um, so hello and welcome, happy Friday. Um, if you are, if your kids started school this week, you made it almost through the first week of school. Um, hasn't been so bad for us, really, I gotta say. I was uh, nervous. I was not super optimistic. Probably so that way I could be pleasantly surprised. And I am pleasantly surprised, it's going great. The teacher is awesome. Um, oh, hello, welcome to you and your second grader. So we are doing a fire fighter fireman fire station doodle page today. Um, you know, most of us who are here live in California and our state is burning. So we have um, a lot of firefighters out there. So I thought we could do a drawing to show our support. Um, most of us know someone who is a firefighter. So it would be an awesome little thing to give to them. If you don't, um, I'm sure there's a fire station near you. You could also drop the drawing off. Um, just, or you can keep it, you know, whatever you want to do. But um, a fun way to show some love and appreciation for our firefighters. I need to drop my chair. <laughs> Sorry, did you see that? Um, so it is going to be a doodle page. Uh, we are going to work in pen. If you're not comfortable with that and you wanna do pencil first, you're welcome to do that. We will not color this in together today with doodle pages. We just do lots of doodles and then you can color them in um, later. Uh, so I did, um, usually on the doodle pages, I don't show you what we're doing. Um, today I am, I wanted to practice a couple things myself. So I went ahead and did a little bit of a pre-drawing. I'm gonna make some adjustments. There's some things I drew that I don't really love the way that they look, so I'm gonna change them up. So um, let's flip you around and see it. I know some of you had to evacuate, so I'm glad everybody's safe and in a space in which they can even draw. So um, I put a little message in the middle and then kind of built off of that. Um, you can do that. You can um, write something totally different. Um, it just was a good like starting point for me. Um, some things I'm gonna change. I know I'm gonna draw a different fire truck. I kind of tried to do this, one of the big long ones and I just don't really love the way it looks. So I'm gonna change that. And, you know, I know I didn't give the fireman a face, I just kept him simple, but um, if that bugs you, you can definitely draw a face on him um, and you could add lots of other little doodles within this. So I am going to start 
with my message in the center. Now, it can be thank you, it can be we love you, it can be, you know, anything you want to put. If you're personalizing this for something, you could do a message for just them, or you could do no message at all. So I am going to do block lettering and do my thank you. So I kind of do a rectangle and then a rectangle down for the T. And then my H, all my letters just kind of build off of the first letter. Now, if you're not good at these geometrical letters or maybe you're younger and you're just kind of learning to even write your letters out, you could also just write the message, just hand write it. It doesn't have to be done in this kind of like bubbly letter. And if you like yours to be more rounded, you can do that too. I'm making mine a little more with um, squared edges. And I just liked having this message because it kind of gives some very centered item with which to start building off of. Now you could kind of do like a cloud of smoke around it. So let's just say this is in a little cloud. Although I think I'm gonna turn this into the water coming off of the hose instead of smoke. So I'm gonna leave it open like it is right here for now. And then I'm going to draw a wavy line coming up the side, a wavy line that matches that other line that's kind of following the same flow Close that line off. Draw a long, skinny rectangle on the end of it. And then you're gonna do two angled lines that don't necessarily meet in the middle. You're gonna actually put a line to close them off And then you can do your lines off of it like it's spraying water. And so now see how over here I have this room, but here I don't. Now I'm gonna bring this little cloud. I'll do some like water lines. You can even put some within here. I'm gonna do a couple little water drips, which are just the little teardrop shapes like the water splashing from the hose. And you could do more of those kind of splash marks around the side, but I just kind of like that. I kind of like how it like flows. Um, you could even put some like little drip marks within your bubble letters. That's another option, your water. So it kind of ties in. Now next up, I'm gonna work on my fireman. I'm gonna put him over here. So I'm just going to do a curved line 
and close it off, but I'm gonna close it a little bit outside. So see how I made these side lines a little bit longer? And then up above this, I'm gonna do a line that curves around this edge and comes down in towards the bottom of the face. This is we're building the hat right now. And remember, since we're working in pen, we kind of have to work on building the shapes on top of each other so we don't draw through them. We'll put another half circle up above here and a little curved square there for like the badge that would be on the helmet. We're gonna give him a collar. So we're gonna do just a curved edge sides of a square on both sides of the head. And now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. I want him to be holding an ax. And so I need to put some of that ax in first. So I'm gonna draw just the handle. So kind of down here below the body, I'm gonna draw a handle. Just leave it at that. And I know that his hand is holding the handle right here. So I'm gonna do a little curved edge for the hand. And now I'll build his arm off of this. So he can have a sleeve. And then just do a little bit of that sleeve right there. From the base of this neck, we'll do his shoulders. And now this shoulder is going to line up with that sleeve. So see how we did that? Now kind of same thing down here, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the handle. I'm gonna do a hand going this way. You can finish that handle now. Has it get a little wider at the bottom? Have a sleeve, comes up a little bit on this side. And then his shoulder comes out and connects to that sleeve. I'm gonna put some stripes on the sleeve. Oftentimes these outfits, you know, they might be black, but they'll have like that yellow reflective on them. I can do his body, so have a body line coming down. It's gonna run into my ax handle. I'm gonna pick it up on the other side and then have it go up. I'll also put a stripe down here on the bottom of his coat. Give him a leg drawing a long skinny or not skinny, kind of thicker rectangle. One on each side. And then his boots. I'm gonna do a hump, have it come over and up. So see how I did that? I humped around, came over past the start of the hump and up, and then I'll put the other line for a shoe here. And then I just kind of did a rugged looking sole on that boot. So a little zigzaggy line at the base. And then we can do the same thing here. Hump it around, come over and up, a line, and then that zigzaggy sole. And then on the pants, I'm gonna actually do 
two stripes. So if I was coloring this, I would probably color um, the stripes in yellow, and then I would color the rest of the outfit in black. And like I said, you can give them a face if you'd like to give them a face. For the axe handle, I'm gonna do a small curved line off to the left of where this handle is. And then I'm gonna bring this line across and down. It's gonna drop down. And then on this side, it's gonna go up slightly. And then this connects with a curve. And then do a little bit of the handle on the other side. And I'll do a little line here. Usually the ax handle, you know, you'll sometimes see the tip is silver and this black portion is black. Or that just ends up being like a detailed line. Let's do a little, like the little light up siren that's on the top of the car. So we're just going to draw like a gumdrop shape. It's not quite a circle, it's not quite a square. You can close that off. We'll draw a little rectangle at the bottom of it. And then another rectangle below that. I'm gonna do just some little details, shading lines over here in the corner. Put a skinny rectangle in the center. And then for the action, like I want to show that this is lit up. So for the action, we're just gonna do those little dashed lines off to the side and that kind of gives you that look like this is a light just that simple little bit of detail now over here let's do a glove so we're going to do a kind of um, curved edge square Coming off of each side, you'll come out like you're drawing the bottom of a triangle. I'm gonna put one of those stripes on my gloves. And then I'm gonna build my fingers. So I'm gonna start with the pinky the next finger is gonna build off of it and it's gonna be a little bit longer, right? We go short, long, longer, back down short, and then the thumb will be off to the side. So we're gonna go a little bit longer on that next finger, longer on the next, shorter here, and the thumb of the glove is right over here. So you're gonna come out with a hot dog tip and then come back down to the wrist. And then you have a glove. And you can do some stripes within the glove too, but usually I just see them on that wrist, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Now I wanna do a fire hydrant. So let's start with a rectangle. I'm gonna do another rectangle below that. and then another rectangle up above it that comes out a little bit wider. We'll draw a dome on the top. 
Hi, Mom. It's all right. You can either catch up or do it another time. A little square up at the top. I'm going to do these curved lines inside here. So one goes straight down in the middle and then one goes out to each side. A circle here in the center and another circle in the middle of that. We have to make the actual pieces that the pipes would connect to. And then let's do one off to the side, do two little lines coming out, a flat line that connects but goes wider and then curved on the edge. So we'll do that again. I'm gonna line it up by coming over here and then going through without touching my pen till I get to the other side. A straight line to connect. It's a little bit longer than each of these little legs. And then it curves on the ends. And you have your fire hydrant. We'll do a fire right here, so just kind of a wavy line. And then I'm gonna take this up into a point, another point that gets taller, another point, point, point. And then in the center of this, we're gonna do that again. So you're just taking point, point. It doesn't have to match exactly with the top. So you're not matching these shapes perfectly with these points. And then in the middle, I'm gonna just do one more. Now let's draw an alarm bell. So I'm gonna do a circle. Another circle inside. And then a little small one right in the center. Right above this, I'm gonna draw a long skinny rectangle. And then just like a curved edge, like the top half of a square. We'll have a line coming out and a circle on the end. So this is gonna be the bar that would ring that bell. But again, I want some motion in here. So to make it look more like a loud noise, I'm gonna do little zigzag shapes off of the bell. And that gives it again some action and just having the zigzag actually makes it even seem like it's a louder sound. Now let's do a ladder. I'm gonna have the ladder kind of coming off of this. So I'm gonna do it at an angle, a long line, which ends up being a long, skinny, rectangle shape. We'll do another one a little bit over from that. Again, just kind of building off of this little, I want them about as long because it's a ladder. Bring it 
all the way down. And then I'm gonna turn my paper so I'm looking at this more straight on, and I'm gonna draw the little rungs of the ladder, the little steps. So just two little bars, two little lines to give you the bars that you would climb up. And you want to have some good space between them. Sometimes you can use your finger like, okay, I want them a pinky width apart. And then you know about where to put the next one. So you keep them even. That's going to be my last one because it doesn't make I don't want to have one right at the top. Over here, let's do a match stick. So we'll do a long skinny rectangle again. And then a curved tip. And then I'm gonna put some flame off of this. So I'm gonna do that same little point, point, point. And then another layer on the center. And the layering just kind of helps you when you're coloring because you'll kind of do some red, orange, and yellow in there. So I would keep my reds more towards this inner ring and then I'd go orange around the edges and then yellow up into the tips. All right, let's try and tackle a fire truck. Now, cars in general are not my forte, so bear with me on this one. We're going to do a line coming down, and it's even harder when you're doing this in pen. I'm gonna curve this back and bring it down a little bit further. I put a little rectangle off the back. That's the um, like the tail, the bumper. There you go. Whoo, lost that word for a second. Bring this in. You need to do a hump. Come forward again. Do another. Come forward just a tick. And then we're gonna put a little square here, which is the front bumper. This will make more sense once we get the rest of it on. Now from here, you're actually going to come up. Come forward. Down, like right about where your wheel well is because you want to do a little front hood that comes down to your bumper. We'll put tires inside these circles, these wheel wells. I'll draw a little center on the inside of them. And of course I would kind of color these in black. Just gonna do a little scribble coloring in there today. Now this line, I wanna put a little bit of side bumper down here, and then I can have this line come down. I'll put a headlight. I'll put a window. You could draw a little ladder on the side. For this ladder, I'm not gonna do it in 
with dimension, I'm just going to do the two lines with the little ladder rungs going across. You can draw a hose. So I would just do a spiral. Stop your spiral, do a little tiny rectangle, and then do that point for the hose. So see that? I'm actually going to have this be like a little black dot in the middle just to finish it off. We'll put a little light on the top of his engine. It's a little tiny re uh, rectangle, a bump, and then those little light bars. And then if you want to be extra fancy, you can do a little bump on the back. I'm gonna angle my page for this. And you're gonna do a line coming up and a line coming up. Connect these. And this would be like that lift that's up on the top of the most fire engine so they can reach high things. And I'll just do crisscross lines all the way down. And there's my little fire engine. Let's draw a bucket. So I'm gonna do a skinny hot dog shape. Two lines that come off and come in, so it's they start wide and they come more narrow. See how it's narrower down here at the bottom? And then you connect those lines. I'm gonna draw a little half circle on this side and then a little half circle on this side. This is gonna be my handle. And I'll just draw a handle, just a line that connects one to the other. And you could even write like H, two, O for your water bucket. You could also do a little like water line inside and color, you know, part of this blue, but then color the bucket a different color. Let's do a little megaphone. So I'm gonna have a smaller kind of curved edge square. I'm gonna add a little bit of length to the back. A little half circle on the very back. And then down here below will be the handle. So I have it a little bit wider at the top and a little bit more narrow at the bottom. And then from the sides, it's going to come up and out, down and out, and then you'll connect these. You'll put another curved, like partial circle there, and then you can put lines coming off of that to show that it makes noise. You can even put some little like buttons off to the side, maybe a little decorative line. And let's draw an extinguisher. So I am running out of space a little bit in here. I'm gonna fit it in. I'll draw it a little bit on the small side. So I'm gonna draw the top. I'm gonna draw like a, a bottle. So it's gonna be straight down like I'm drawing a little open-ended square. 
and then it's going to curve out see like I'm drawing a bottle and then same on this side curve out And then I'm gonna draw a little top part here. And it's going to curve up and down. And then another one, that's like the trigger where you'd squeeze those two together to make it spray. And then off the front here, you'll do an extension a long rectangle extension there. And then you'll draw that cone shape. So two lines angling out. And in the center of them, you'll draw a little hot dog shape, a little oval. And I'll put a label on it just for a little detail, just drawing a little rectangle. And you could have it spraying so maybe you have like these little wavy puffs of stuff coming off. It's a good little space filler. And lastly, let's fit in a shovel. I'll put it over here. Shovels don't take up that much space. So I'm gonna do a long line and a long line. I'm gonna have this line come to a point. And then from just above where this starts to point down, you're gonna come out on each side and then curve it down and back around. Draw a little detail line there, maybe some little shadow lines on the sides. Close this off. And for the handle, you're gonna come up a little bit more and then come out and around and back, and then you'll draw the little opening where your hand would go, right, right there. And a little line here, usually like the metal is still up here, so this would all be the metal, and then I would color this wood and then maybe make the handle black. And then from there, this is where you start to just get creative with your doodle page. You start to add other things in. You can do things like, um, you know, maybe you write 911, emergency, say no smoking just all your little fire you know we can even write fire Right. Hero. All your little words that have to do with fighting fires and celebrating the firemen and, you know, what they do each day. Um, that's kind of it. That's all I've got for you. I want to add a couple more of these little water drops in my letters. I kind of liked the way that looked, so I'll do that in all of them. 
You could also do, you know, a lot of times we do these little doodle pages and you can easily fill things in with like hearts and stars and stuff like that. Um, you know, you could definitely do hearts on this to show your love. Um, you could also do little, um, little droplet shapes. Maybe you put lots of little water shapes all over the page. You could even draw more little fire shapes too. And that's the fun of the doodle page is you're just kind of filling all the little spaces and just imagining like, what can I keep doing? I keep growing it and growing it and growing it. So there you go. That's your doodle page for Friday. I will immediately scan this and load it onto the group for those of you that want to color it in. Um, for those that typically join me on Saturday Sip and Draws, uh, we are on our new schedule, so there is no Sip and Draw this week. So I will not be back here with you until Wednesday, but I have some fun announcements and fun things planned um, in between. So don't worry, I won't let you forget about me between now and Wednesday. I hope you guys all have a great weekend. Stay safe. Good luck to those of you that had to vacate your homes. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Happy drawing. Bye, guys.